what a tool like Asana lets you do is basically see everything that's going on in the business. So you're not tapping on the shoulder of your staff and asking them, have you done that yet? Have you done that yet? Have you done that yet? We love your thoughts on a content machine. I'm currently working on this for an industrial design firm and make some amazing products. Like Zach Struggle is getting the insights out of my team's heads in a simple way. Building content with your team is an important part of your marketing. And what I mean by that is getting the intellectual property and the knowledge out of your team's heads and getting that down in a place where you can turn that into content to then share it with your customers. We are now in the age of content. And what that means is that many customers want to interact with your business, whether that be on LinkedIn, whether that be on Facebook, on Instagram, or on TikTok. They want content. They don't just want a website that they have to browse through. They actually want to interact with humans and interact with your brand online. So how do you do that? How do you actually get things out of people's minds and into an ideas list? Well, I actually created a video on this recently. It's on my secondary channel, which is called Moriarty Uncut. So if you head along to YouTube, you search for Moriarty Uncut. And on my channel here, I actually created a video recently with my content production process inside Asana. So if you search that channel for Asana, here we go. There's a couple of shorts there but I've got a longer one here, my content production process. And that really shows the production side of things with Asana. So I'd recommend you go and check out that video. But if you're interested in going a little bit more in depth into that, I'll give you a very quick demo of what my Asana board looks like. So we use Asana for pretty much everything in our business. It's one of our favorite small business tech tools. It's really great for managing tasks and projects collaboratively with your team. Now you could use something like Google Tasks if you just had one or two or three people inside your business. It's quite a simplistic system. It doesn't really do project management, but it's pretty good for task management if you're just managing a couple of people within a team. But when you start doing projects or tasks that are related to each other, or maybe you're in a situation where you've got a project that needs to be delivered over time and it's got different stages in that project, you really wanna to move to a project management system. And so we use Asana. There's also Trello, Monday.com, plenty of other options out there on the market that you might want to investigate. But what many of these task management systems help you to do is to create workflows. And if you can create a board with a number of tasks in different, we call them buckets, but you would call them Kanban boards, if strictly speaking, you can actually use those to create workflows inside your business. So I'll give you a couple of examples of what that looks like for our content team inside our business. And so this is my business Asana here. And on this content board, I've got lots of different columns. So all of our raw content ideas sit up here in the raw content ideas box. And then as an idea is taken into development, it will be moved to development and then review, finalize review. And then when something's being produced, it'll show up in production here. Now you can see, obviously today I'm working on our live and presenting this, this actually is my task for today. Now within the task, it'll probably have the description of the YouTube video. Yep, you can see that there. You can see the link has been pasted there. Basically everything my content team need to do to set that up on YouTube, it's all ready to rock and roll. All sitting there for us, which is great. Once I've got it recorded, I remove it to the recorded bin. And from there, it goes over to the production board. And the production board has its own set of stages. The production board has new videos as they come in, videos in production that sit with the individual producers, our creative team doing our video editing. We then have a content review with our SEO expert who is responsible for making sure that we're choosing good titles and good thumbnails. And then you can see there's a couple of reviews from management team and then final review goes through to me before everything gets published on the channel. We've got our publishing box for videos that are in the process of being published and then once they're complete, they move over to the complete column. So you can see here effectively what we've done is we've created a production line, both for taking an idea from a raw idea to developing it, to then getting it proved and ready to be recorded. And then finally to actually being recorded and produced. And then once it's been produced, it's got to be edited and then published. And so we've got another set of steps for editing and publishing. Now you could do this for pretty much any process in your business where you have a recurring process that needs to happen on a repeated basis. So you might use a tool like this for something like a customer relationship management system where you're moving customers through a sales process. Now there's dedicated apps for that, but in the absence of any other app, you could use something like Asana for that. If you've got maybe a customer project that's being delivered, you might wanna set up a list of tasks. And in that list of tasks, you might wanna have 
phase one, phase two, phase three of the project with the appropriate subtasks being assigned to somebody in your business who will help you to do the actual implementation. And what a tool like Asana lets you do is basically see everything that's going on in the business. So you're not tapping on the shoulder of your staff and asking them, have you done that yet? Have you done that yet? Have you done that yet? Because as a business grows and scales, you run out of the number of people that you can manage if you're a business owner or if you're a team leader. And so what these tools do is they allow us to keep on track with what my responsibilities are for my work and what my team's responsibilities are for their work as well. Very useful and very important. If you like this content, please hit subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we go live or drop new content on the channel. Now, if you'd like to connect with us, hit us up on social media or join our free community group. All the links to that are right below this video. If you'd like to learn more about Google Workspace and the technology ecosystem, you can join our free Genius Academy by transferring your billing across to IT Genius. Or you can join a Workspace Basics Bootcamp. Now, if you're a business owner and you're interested in an audit on your technology stack or your workspace account, or you're looking to do a project in the tech world, well, you can take advantage of our free consultation. And if you need help right now, then consider joining Concierge or taking up a quick fix with our team for professional support for your tech stack.